Hey everyone, I hope you have an amazing day. It's Mike Fisher from Finding Fish. Today, I'm in Toronto, Canada. I'm at the iconic St. Lawrence Market. There's over 120 vendors here, most of them food. I'm here with my wife, Jenny. We're both hungry, we're eager to go, we're eager to eat, we're eager to see what this place has to offer. So stay with us today, it's going to be amazing. I just ordered the iconic pea meal on a bun from the Carousel Bakery. It's been serving pea meal on a bun for 40 years. Salty, a little sweet, tender. The bun is super mm, moist and delicious. You get about three or four good slices of pea meal. The bun is really warm. They recommended, I think, honey mustard, but delicious. We're on to the next place. Let's go. Like I've said, there's over 120 vendors here. Um, not all food, but Ponessi here, they've been open since 1903. Not the same family, but the same business. They sell fruit and vegetables. Exotics, you name it, they have it. Super fresh. It's actually really early here, so it's not getting busy yet, but it will. Anyway, we just finished off a PML on a bun, and now we're set to adventure in uh, the St. Lawrence Market. Actually find out what, uh, what else they have to offer here. Tons of meat, though. Look at this place. Look at this place. Olympic cheese has been operating since uh, 1958. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it does smell so good. The anti-pasto items look amazing. Delicious. There's a bagel place. I don't know the name of it. We're going to check it out. We're going to get the sesame seed bagel toasted, extra toasted with butter. So this is from St. Urban Bagel. It's just a sesame with butter toasted. Double toasted butter, mm. sesame seed. They make the bagels there. I guess that part's important. They actually make them there. They used to be wood fired, but today they're not wood fired. Mm. That's scrumptious. Mm. Light and yummy. Next. Deliso. If you're into meats, they have tons of it. Been in business since 1979. We're just, we're admiring it. And of course, if you're looking for fish, well, the St. Lawrence Market, that's where it all started. Fish for as long as the eye can see. Anyway, let's continue on. I was seeing if they had oysters, fresh oysters. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Thank you. That looks so good. Oh, we love oysters and hot sauce. And they were hard to get into. Oh my gosh. So good. Like salty, the hot sauce. Not even seafoody. You know how sometimes you're afraid it's going to be too fishy. Mm, these are from PEI. Yeah. The brine is very, very mild. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. Okay. Very mellow, very easy to eat, and super, super fresh. And the best part, they shucked them for us. We didn't have to spend time doing that because that's hard. Hard work. Oh man, yeah, that was delicious. I would recommend that. That's a nice treat. That's a fun treat. If you're in the food, if you're a foodie, if you're hungry, well, you gotta be coming to St. Lawrence Market. Yeah. They have absolutely everything here to offer for anyone. Like, like you and name it, they get, have it. And the other thing is, you can have kind of snacky stuff too. So you can try a variety of different items here. You don't have to have a huge meal. That's what I love about it. No. Snacker. 
Uh, yeah, we are snackers, and uh, but we also love meat. But if you're into breads, oh my gosh, they got bakeries up and downstairs. And they've got tons of little uh, cookies and pastry places. Ashton, Danara. And if anyone's been to the uh, St. Lawrence Market recently and they've uh, experienced it, put it in the comments below. Tell us what you think. Now, I've, in some of my other videos, I've been to the Grand Bazaar in Turkey just recently. And I was also at the Boroughs Market in London. If you're interested in more market videos, there's two that you can check out. Also, like and subscribe, hit the notifications for uh, some more upcoming videos. We just got back from Cuba, did a whole bunch of videos in Cuba, and I was in Europe for about a month and a half, so check those out as well. If you're a baker or you're into baking, they also have all the accessories you need just to do your stuff, do your craft, let's say. They have everything here from knives, to spoons, cutlery, Dyson, Dysomatics, you name it, they have it. I don't think I've been in a place that has more utensils for people that love kitchens and food and cooking and their craft. All right, babe, now where to? Let's go downstairs. Like I said, this place has a plethora of everything. You name it, you need it, you're downtown. St. Lawrence Market is actually quite the place to go to. Yeah, and you know what? Pretty reasonable. I'm not finding the prices crazy. They have alpaca socks, which <laughs> Mike and I live in. They're so warm and so soft, and they're only $25 here, two for 40. Wow. A That's a great price. 50 to yeah, and this is all made in Peru. The lady that runs this little place is Peruvian. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very cool. I'm buying my alpaca socks, bro. Thank you. Have a nice day. You as well. Happy New Year. Wow, that was cool. You know what? That's kind of one of my favorite shops in here so far. Definitely know where to come to get uh, alpaca socks. And actually reasonable, 25 bucks a pair is actually amazing. Two for 40. Two for 40, we're working here now. The godfather of sandwiches, try our most famous. Wow. We gonna do it or? We might do it, but I did see one around the corner that I wanna try as well. What is it? It's a it's a specialty grilled cheese. I know that sounds fairly basic, but the way they have the shaved lettuce on it, like the old cheddar, I think it's going to be really good. Okay. Well, you're talking this bad boy, eh? Yanni grilled cheese. I think it's going to be good. Oh my god, that looks really good. I can't even wait. That was so incredible. The lettuce softens into the cheese. We get this rich, cheesy taste with the light lettuce. Mm. Really good. Love it. Oh yeah, the mild onion, I love it. Greasy, hot. Good and greasy. And not too, like it's, it's crisp and golden, but not rock hard on the outside. Mm, it's a sourdough. And it's like an old cheddar. With the lettuce, I would never have thought to have done that. Well, yeah, I actually can't afford it. Canada, but. You know what? So good. Really good. I would do that again. I like it. Mm. As rich as it is, it's actually, it feels kind of light when you're eating it. Anyway, like and subscribe. It's Mike and Jen. Finding Fish, St. Lawrence Market, Canada. Mm. Hit, hit the notification stay with us because we're going to be going all over the place and uh, you're probably going to want to come with us thanks for watching like and subscribe finding fish bon appetit